I will persist until I succeed. We are no sheep puppy, we are lions. We are lions! In the Orient, young bulls are tested for the fight arena in a certain manner. Each is brought to the ring and allowed to attack a picador who pricks them with a lance. The bravery of each bull is then rated with care according to the number of times he demonstrates his willingness to charge in spite of the sting of the blade. Henceforth will I recognize that each day I am tested by life in like manner if I persist, if I continue to try, if I continue to charge forward. I will succeed. I was not delivered unto this world in defeat, nor does failure course in my veins. I am not a sheep waiting to be prodded by my shepherd. I am a lion and I refuse to talk, to walk, to sleep with sheep. I will not hear those who weep and complain for their disease is contagious. Let them join the sheep. The slaughterhouse of failure is not my destiny. The prizes of life are at the end of each journey, not near the beginning. And it is not given to me to know how many steps are necessary in order to reach my goal. Failure. I may still encounter a thousand step, yet success hides behind the next bend in the road. Never will I know how close it lies unless I turn the corner. Always will I take another step. If that is no avail, I will take another. And yet another. In truth, one step at a time is not too difficult. Your game plan for everybody is you're born, have, whatever, have fun till you're about six, maybe eight, go to school, they, they wipe the fun the fuck out of you, get a job, get a wife at 30, pay your fucking taxes, save up for your retirement, will the bankers fuck you over for every little piece of money they can get out of you for your whole life? When you're 65, you retire, yippee then you get to enjoy your life, then you get a heart attack at 68, you know? Your job is to shut the fuck up and not ask questions. Do you know what people start doing when they start asking questions? They start doing things outside the rules. They start making more money. They start quitting their jobs. They start starting businesses and moving offshore. They start fucking multiple girls and not getting married and not getting a house and paying mortgage on the fucking house and paying for the fucking kids. Once you start facing fear every day a little bit, it starts dying and you start growing. And suddenly you become addicted to that growth. If you guys tune into who you really are, which is an absolutely free entity that loves learning and having fun and, and, and being around other people and learning, if you really connected with that child self, which is like all about having fucking fun, you would all quit the system. You guys have to put yourselves first in life, always. Because nobody else is going to put your happiness first. Nobody. Ever. You're going to be waiting a long fucking time to be happy, waiting for some shit to happen. Because it's not going to happen. You're just going to be 80 and you'll think back to this talk and go, fuck. And then you die. It's a long wait. But that's the disease we've got. We're hoping someone will lead us to happiness. There's 
two types of human beings. One of them goes for what he wants and moves towards his goal and his objection and moves towards becoming himself, becoming a man, becoming authentic, becoming more honest, becoming a better person. Every day he's moving towards becoming amazing. The second type of person, he's not. That's it. Which are you? makes is waiting waiting to fucking feel like it waiting for somebody to pick you waiting for the right time waiting for you to feel motivated it's not coming for the big stuff for the hard stuff it requires a push always has always will nobody is coming to save your ass it is up to you and so if you want to change anything about your life stop sitting around and wasting your goddamn life and start pushing yourself whether it's a fast or it is starting a business or it is changing how you talk to your spouse or it's changing the kind of parent that you are, you got one life. As soon as you open up your eyes, understand that you enter into consciousness. It is at that moment that your creativity is at its most powerful. At that moment, you have an opportunity to steer your thoughts and your emotions in the direction that you want them to go. In other words, you can choose to seize the day or you can let the day seize you. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide. Fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying. Because I'm trying to get it. Let me tell you something, homie. These women ain't going nowhere. These clubs, these parties, all this shit ain't going nowhere. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit, molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. I think we could all agree that today, too many people wake up in the morning and as soon as they open up their eyes, the first thing they focus on is the grueling day that they had the day before. All the things that didn't turn out the way they wanted it to go. Then they start thinking about the grueling day that lies ahead of them, the traffic jam that they have to be into. And then they can't understand why, when they're going into work, their energy level is down here. And with what you're trying to accomplish, with the responsibility that you have, it has to be up here.